everybody, Gary here with Pal Music, and that was me playing all of the acoustic parts on Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. If you want the tab and the song notes that go along with this lesson, those are free rewards to anyone that's a Pal Music patron on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash palmusic. So all of those graphics and the animated fretboard, I think do a better job explaining what to play than I can, but I just want to give you some practice tips and some things to keep in mind. Okay, so let's go over the chords and the strumming patterns first, and then we'll get to the picking parts. So we start with this first shape of an A minor 7. So it's like a regular A minor, but you're going to add your pinky to the high E string, 3rd fret. Then we let go of two of those fingers and we just have a more classic A minor 7. This one here, two finger A minor 7. Then we go to this D super sus chord. It's kind of like a D sus 4 sus 2, just one finger. And then put the others down to get the full D. So all together there we have. So I'm just going over the switches first, and then we're going to get into the rhythm. Then the second time through, it starts the same way. But then instead of going here, it goes up to this E minor. And that comes right out of this full E minor bar shape right here. It comes right out of there. But he's going to play the open D string with that. and then comes down to here, which is a D chord. You can think of this one. But just these three strings with the D, with the open D. Then comes down to here, same thing, open D, but this is a C chord. Just those top three strings then back to the D. So... So putting that all together, we got... Then second time... Okay, now let's get into the strumming pattern which is definitely a little tricky. Now you've got eighth note strumming patterns and you have 16th note strumming patterns. So with the eighth note strumming pattern, keeping this constant wrist, all of the numbers get down strokes and all the ends get an up. So it would be one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. On the 16th notes, the one and the end gets a down, but the E and the uh gets an up, like this. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the... So I'm gonna give you an example. This is an eighth note strumming pattern. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and... It's where we take the beats and divide them in half. One and two and three and four and. So any single strum is either gonna be on one of the numbers, one, two, three, four, or on an end, which is right in between the numbers. One and two and three and four and. A 16th note rhythm is more like this. So what we do there is we split every beat into four parts. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. So you can see it's much faster. It's got this really loose, fast wrist. Now before we do the strumming pattern, it's important to know that you have to keep this wrist constantly doing the 16th note pattern. So the first thing you want to do is be able to go. If you can't do that, you definitely won't be able to do the pattern. So that's step number one is... Now 
that's kind of boring, sounds kind of like right? So now let's add the strumming pattern. So if you look at the strumming pattern, the ones that are red, the downs and the ups that are red, those are the ones that get accented. The ones that are black, you strum those, but not with a lot of pressure. They're more soft and percussive in the background. It's the red ones that really stand out. So keep that in mind. You're going to strum harder and clearer on those and softer on the others. So here's what the first strumming pattern sounds like. Notice how my hand never stops doing this. So even when I skip those parts of the beat that are grayed out, I'm still going up and down. And you'll notice that the chord changes happen on those red accents. So here we go. So one other technique that I'm doing here uh, on the parts of the beat that are not accented is muting. So sometimes I'm lifting up my fingers very lightly, and especially here. And that's, real, that's an essential technique, especially for anything kind of funky, is to be able to just go. So you just want to lift up your fingers slightly so they're not coming off the string, you're just relieving pressure. We really just want to accent those ones in red. So the ones in black, feel free to try to do some of that muting just so they're more percussive, they're supporting those stronger beats. So. Here it is if I did no muting. Still sounds good. But now here it is with some of that muting and, and more focus on the accents. So I prefer it with that, just it gives it a little more funkiness, a little more attention on the accents and makes it less monotonous. So that's definitely something for you to experiment with. Now if those are too hard for you, here's what they look like if we turn them into eighth note strumming patterns. So this is more of a simplified version. Let me show you how this sounds. One, two, three, four. Here's that tempo with the 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The picking part is pretty straightforward. I would just recommend going through the demo nice and slow. Running that C chord that G over B, and then this part. The only tricky part really here is after the hammer-on, then you gotta skip over the, the D string to get to the open root, so. getting to that F to A minor, right? Because we got them right there. Do, do, do. You don't have to worry about getting that pinky down. So, so when you're doing this, get your hand ready for that F, right? 
And an F chord, uh, power chord is really all you need. So whatever kind of F you could get there, works. And that's really it for the strumming and picking parts. In the next video, we're gonna go over the electric guitar and the solo. As always, if you want the actual tab on the lines, as you might be used to looking at, the fret numbers on the lines and the notation and all of that stuff, or the playable GPX file that you could actually uh, hear the tab as it plays, that's all available as a free reward for anyone who's a patron at patreon.com slash powmusic. Have fun with this, happy playing, take your time, enjoy the process, and I'll see you in the next lesson.